Hi guys, this is Jamie. I want to welcome you to my channel today. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Um, today I have kind of happy mail and haul video I want to share with you for this week. And yeah, I will just kind of get started so I'm not rambling on too much. That way I can show you the things a little more. Um, if you have questions about anything, uh, please just drop it in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. And if you don't want to leave a comment but want to message me, you can message me on Instagram or through my email would be just fine. And those are down in the description. So let's get started. Um, first thing I'm going to do is start with Happy Mail because I just have a couple things. I was gifted this book by a wonderful subscriber. Um, I believe her name is Cassandra. Um, she sent this to me totally by surprise. I had this book on my wish list and I had never tried one of Kira Shershneva's um, color by color books. And um, I was actually really excited after I got this because I had never tried it and I wanted to try it. So I started from the back because I didn't want to like ruin this part and I wanted to work my way because I was using alcohol markers. So in the back, I'll show you what I've done. So I did this one and I pretty much matched it as close as I could to the color or to the outline. And this one right here was outlined in gray, but it made no sense because everything was outlined in blue. So after I colored it gray, I had to go over it with blue. So that got messed up. And by coloring it in the exact color of the line, I just don't like how it looks. I don't know. It just, it just seems really dark. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to try this again. So this time I tried it again and I decided go a shade lighter than what the line is. So this was um, a pink color. And so I decided to go lighter than that original line. And I think that it gives that kind of outline appearance when you color with an outline. And I really like how that looks. And I actually messed up on the yellow. The lighter yellow was supposed to be in the center and then the darker yellow on the outside. But that's okay. I think it turned out better. Um, so I like this one 10 times better than my first one. It's one of those things you just learn as you do it. So I want to thank her very much for this book. I actually really enjoyed coloring those two pictures and hopefully I can color more. It And it's not color by number because it doesn't have numbers. It's just, it's like outlined in the color that you're supposed to color it. And my advice would be to color it a shade lighter then that and then it gives a more pop out type of effect which is really cool so thank you very much cassandra for sending me this i absolutely love it and i appreciate it and yes i will put your name on the thank you roll at the end of the month next thing i have here i was sent this book um for review, I haven't reviewed it yet, so I will do a separate video for a review. This just came today. This is by Debbie Densham. Um, this is Flora Mandala's folk art style. Uh, beautiful hand-drawn mandalas with color palette suggestions, which is awesome. Here is the back side. And what she has done in this book, she actually put this on premium paper for us similar to the Kira Shershneva books, actually. And the color palettes are down here. Now you can use these as a guide or you can color however you want. It's just a suggestion. And I can't wait to like dig in and I'll do a full flip when I do the review. And I will definitely color some as well when I do the review. But yes, I wanna thank Debbie for doing this. She's the crazy, I think it's crazy colorist. Um, on Instagram. She's very, very sweet. I want to thank her for sending this to me. So, 
sorry for the squeaks that's just my chair no worries so those are the happy mail items that i have received over the last week and so i want to thank those two lovely ladies um i did get um an ava brown book the week before and i did do a review on that so i want to thank the ava brown company as well so moving on to the things that i have purchased and I'm going to go ahead and start with um, supplies. And I will start with what I got at the dollar store. So first thing I got is I went over to the um, section where they have all the kitchenware. And I saw these really cute multi-purpose clips. Uh, these are like little dogs. And these are like, I think they're supposed to be cats. But I think they look like tigers to me. And I thought they were really cute and I could use them to pull back the pages in my books and you just clamp them on to keep the pages from flipping out for you. And I just thought they were cute. I, I tend to buy these different um, clip things and what happens is I put them in my coloring cart and then my kids grab them and use it for potato chips and baggies and things like that. So it's like every time I go to the dollar store, I need to grab more because they get used for multi-purposes in the house. So I got these. Next things I got is I went over to the craft section and I got some more alphabet stickers. This first set is um, kind of animal print and I thought they were really cute. And then I got this one. I like the color palette on this one, and it has numbers. This one just says the ABCs. This one has numbers as well. And then I decided I would get this one that looks kind of like buttons, um, because sometimes I need smaller letters, and so these would fit better with the small letters. And like the little flowers that they have here, I could always use those as embellishments for certain things. These are puffy stickers, so I definitely want to do that on a single-sided page or a page that has been colored on the reverse already so it doesn't create a bump while coloring. I got these letters because I liked the colors, nice and bright and fun. We've got stripes, we've got like tie-dye effect. Um, and then I grabbed two of, actually, yeah, two of these rub-on transfer sheets. This one has different like sayings. It says happy birthday, surprise, party, there's things like that. And a lot of times I can find coloring pages that can apply to this kind of saying. That would be fun to add um, rub on sayings on there. And then I got this one as well. And um, this one's like fashion and I do have fashion coloring books so I thought this would be good and like that necklace if I found um, an image of someone that had a bare neck I could add a necklace to them um, this one that says uh, I think it's supposed to say fashion it's well maybe not it just says it's an add to cart kind of day isn't that so applicable to everybody who loves Amazon so I just thought this was fun. And this one says confidence is the new black. It's just so fun. And I am actually really impressed with the dollar store. They're getting more and more stuff lately in the craft crafting section. So if you have a Dollar Tree, um, I suggest taking a look at them sometime in the craft area. Um, they don't, mine doesn't really do very good in the gel pen area anymore but they have been upping their game with paint and craft stuff. So I got those. Um, I also went over to where the home goods was in the dollar store and I picked up some more wall art stickers. So I don't know if you guys can see, but these are train, there's a train and it looks like there's three carts and a caboose. And I thought this would be really cute on an art journal page or on a wallpaper image where I could add a train to it. Especially if it was a double page wallpaper image, I could make the train go through it and it just would be really fun. 
I also got some more mermaids. They're kind of sketchy style. There's like little narwhals and cat mermaids. I like that one a lot. I think she's cute. And look, that seahorse, it's cute. And that turtle's even cute. It has a, I don't know, so that would be a turtle, turtle corn. <laughs> so those, and then I got these blue butterflies. I, I thought that these would be fun to add to images that have lots of um, floral on there. I could add butterflies to it. So I got those. And these were from the Dollar Tree as well. Now moving on to things that I got on Amazon supply-wise. Um, I picked me up some more of these. I had a few from before and they've been well loved so I thought I needed to add to my stash. And it comes in two sizes. The one that I got this is like the big size and this is a small size. These are blender brushes. People use them for makeup, but people also use them for blending distress inks, gel crayons. Um, you can use them with your pastels. And I just wanted to get some more. And I really like that it came with this um, cosmetic like bag that you could see through. So I'm going to end up just putting all my brushes, even my old ones inside this. So it's just all stored away and good to go. And I may even put my blender, I have the round Tim Holtz blender thing, and I, I may put them in here too, just to keep all my blender tools together. So I got that, and this wasn't that expensive. I want to say Emma Colors, um, Emma Colors 2020, just got these as well. And I think she gets hers in the UK. So um, when I saw hers, um, I looked on the US Amazon to see if they had them. And they had two types. They had this one, and then they had one that was all the same brush size. But I wanted the two different sizes because I use different size of brushes. Next thing I have to show you guys is these. Um, I got these because they were on a lightning sale. They are... I had been wanting them for some time. They're the Ohuhu Pastels. And um, I'm actually really excited because I want to say these are the brush. Yeah. You okay? Hang on just a second, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Just needed a little mommy moment um, to help my coloring assistant. So these are the um, brush tip, brush and chisel tip uh, pastel. And I want to say these are still on sale, but I, I'm not exactly sure. But as soon as I saw that they went on sale, I wanted to get them because I do like the Ohuhu brand. I've never tried the Ohuhu brush marker, but I do like brush markers. So I am excited to try these out. And I will put these, I haven't swatched them or anything yet, but I think they'll be good. Next thing I got here is I got this lovely pencil roll. It's like tropical. Um, and the reason why I got this lovely pencil roll is because I decided to get the these pencils, the Mark Art. Mark Art is a 48 set of pencils. Um, I decided to do a roll instead of a case just because it was only 48 and I figured it would be okay to do a roll because it doesn't take up my whole desk. And I think this is the perfect type of pencil set to take as you go um, to different places. And they actually feel really nice. So, yeah, I did color a little bit with a few of them and they did lay down really well. Um, they're not like expert, expert pencils, but to me, they're a good pencil. Um, if you need something to be your filler pencil and then go back in with your details with more of a upgraded pencil, if that makes sense. But it comes with some basic colors and then it has a gold and a silver. 
So I just put them in the color order that it came in the tin so that I didn't have to overthink it. And I just wrap them up like this and put it in like that. Next thing I got, I haven't even opened them out of the plastic, was another Ohuhu product. Let me just open these up so I can show you. And these I actually got last week, I think. Because I feel like I've had these ones for a while on my, Mama. by my desk. Mama. Can you hold, hold on, can you? Hang on just a sec again. And I can be dry up. Okay, guys, I was just talking to my daughter. So these are Ohuhus, and these are, okay, they messed up here. Because these are not supposed to be VIX. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to call them. Somebody sent these back. These are old, used VIX. Oh my gosh. These are supposed to be Ohuhu paint markers. And somebody probably ordered... Yeah, they, they smell like someone's house. Yeah, oh my gosh. Guys, I'm gonna have to send these back because these were supposed to be Ohuhu paint markers and they're not. Oh my gosh. What in the world? Yeah, these will definitely be going back because that's not right. <laughs> Just goes to show you that Amazon does not check their stuff. So these are used thick markers that they put in the Ohuhu bag. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I will definitely be notifying them of this and they will need to send me the right thing. So, sorry guys, I was going to show you that I got Ohuhu paint markers. The acrylic paint markers. And these aren't them. Yeah. That's a bummer. <laughs> maybe someone take them. Yep, maybe someone did. I'll have to write a message and let them know. Moving on. <laughs> um, I did get these. Now I have some of these. And they're really great gel pens. Um, these are the Parku oh, so 20 gel pen set. And they're the Click gel pens. Now, um, Monet off of the Coloring Diva, she actually messaged me and she said um, these were on sale and she gave out a coupon code, which made them super, super affordable. And so I decided to get another set. And these actually perform very nice, so I couldn't pass them up. And this is the Parku 20 color gel pens. I'm little, I'm doing I'm just so surprised that, yeah, <laughs> I really didn't open those because I was thinking that they were good. And I've had them sitting here for a couple weeks now, and so uh, yeah. I hope I can get the right ones. So anyway, can you move your, move your character in there? I did get some pencil cases. I got this one. Well, it has triangles all over it. And the reason why I got this pencil case. It's so bigger than me. Okay, I need you to be quiet. Can you turn on the big light for me? It's kind of dark in here. I got this pencil case so I could house all of my um, toy markers from Arteza. Um, I had all these markers under my bed in a tin. And... I just wasn't using them because they weren't accessible, and I thought, what? I'm showing the textures. Okay, well, you can do it after I'm ta talking, okay? Um, they weren't just accessible to me, so I thought it would be a good idea to put them in a case. This case is perfect for this set because they can go two, two, and I still had a little extra room. So I already had the markers. I just needed a case. So this is the case that I got. 
and it was on a lightning deal, so that's why I got this one. So I got this case. It was kind of one of those things where I was buying cases to um, put supplies in, so I got this case. I also okay, move those out of the way, honey. I also got this case. Um, this one was on a lightning deal as well. They've been doing a lot of lightning deals on cases lately. So if you need cases, I would check pencil cases on Amazon because they've been doing a lot of pencil cases on sale. And I decided to use this case to store all of my color, color, color pencils. I have the um, 180 set. And it came in a tin with an elephant on it, and it had five trays, and it just wasn't practical to take out five trays of my tiny desk. So I decided that I needed to put them inside of a case. This was a tight squeeze, because some of them I had to put in threes, but um, I managed to get them all in here, because it holds a 200, or yeah, 202. I believe and um, it it's just kind of tight because they're judging it off of doing three pencils to a compartment I really like to only put two just so that it's not overcrowded but I, I will make it work it's not like I'm going to use these pencils every single day it's just kind of a filler type of pencil And then the last case I got, I haven't even taken out of the plastic, is this one. I love this brand. It's one of my favorite brands of pencil cases. This is a nice teal color. I decided to get this one to house my fruit ferner. Um, colored pencils, the square ones. So I definitely wanted to get a case that could fit those in it. So I got this one and it just came today. So that's why I haven't put the pencils in yet. So there's that one. Can you move a second? Scoot all the way. Another thing that I saw on Lightning Deal were these, uh, the Spree 128 art markers. Um, I have the Spree 84 markers. They are really good markers. And when these went on a lightning sale for really cheap, um, I wanted to take advantage of that and get some more. So I got the big set of 128. And these are just uh, chisel and fine point. They're not the brush markers. They're just the regular ones. And the last supply that I'm going to show you is uh, the Marco Square C820 pencils. These I got from Ally Express. I ordered them over a month ago. And I'm going to put these in the case with the the burp furners because they're square as well so i did sharpen one down these are what they originally look like and then i sharpened this one with my mitsubishi pencil sharpener because it's square and i needed a pencil sharpener that could fit a square pencil and i did swatch all these uh, uh, this is our bag we have like um thousand suitcases in there so it's not your bag okay let me show you guys the swatch so this is the swatch of the square and this is on amazon paper and so it has a nice nice pastel colors and these are actually really soft pencils i was actually pretty impressed um, this was a blend test right here. I wanted to see if I can blend them into each other. They had a little bit of difficulty, but I think if I layer lightly, I can make them work. Um, but I did like being able to uh, get these so that I could have some pastel shades that were more on the affordable side. 
I mean, the dream would be to get like Holbein pastels, but um, if I can find something that will work that's on the more affordable end, I will. So I got these, and they have some pretty fun names, like this one's Confetti, this one's Bermuda, yeah. So this is the Marco Square C80, C820 um, colored pencils, and they had numbers and color names. Okay, so <sighs> my daughter's still in the room. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to move on to the books that I got, and I'm just kind of going through the stack that is, it's not from, it's from more recent to less recent, actually. The first book that I got is brand new, was just released. It's by Julia Speary. This is her fourth book, I believe. It's called um, Coloring Book and Enchanting World. Oh my gosh, guys, this is beautiful. Um, I actually, maybe it's her fifth, I, because I know, I remember the characters on her other books. I have, I want to say I have two of her other books. I don't have her first one, I don't think. Um, here is the back. And it's on Amazon paper, but it's her grayscale images that she's done here. The grayscale sketchy-like images. And look how adorable. I absolutely love it. They're simple and so easy to color. I think I will really enjoy coloring this book. Um, she does give you duplicates. Look at that fairy tale one. Maybe I'll have to color that one. I just love that kind of oh look how cute I haven't like really fully flipped through this I flipped through some of them and already fell in love with the few I saw but I absolutely love this so this is Julia Speary's um, coloring book and enchanting world brand brand new definitely check it out if you like her work Next book I got is a big one. I got the Yam Puffs Dreams Collection. Now this is like a collection video or video collection book of all her different um, coloring books. Now I do have the Carousel Dreams coloring book and another one, but um, this one had some images from other books in it. And it said this was on a heavier weight paper. So I decided I would just get this one. And it is on a heavier paper than the other. It's not cardstock. Um, I would probably say, I don't know. It's got to be like 40, 40 pound, 40, 45, if I'm guessing. And she has titles for each one and which book they're from. I have Flowery Dreams and I have the Carousel book. And then I have another one that's like an original Yam Puff book. And that's okay with me. I don't mind having duplicate images. Her uh, artwork is beautiful. And I love to color her little cuties. So I'm just kind of doing a quick little flip this is a really thick book see how cute she's cute so this is um yam puff streams collection um i did pre-order this lovely one and i'm not going to give a full flip because this book is everywhere right now it's been out for a while for those of us that have been in the uk um i'm in the us so this was just released and um, as soon as I saw some images from this book, I absolutely loved it. I love Maria Troll's work. I am a little intimidated to color in it. I do have some of her books and I have colored some pages. I just need to be braver. <laughs> and um, I'm going to kind of show you what's in there. It's an off-white cream paper. And I feel like these are very whimsical and they remind me of like Thumbelina. 
because she's so small. It's like, to me, it's like a little story of like a Thumbelina character. But yeah, that is Luna um, by Maria Trollet or Troll. I don't know exactly how it's pronounced. I did finally get my um, Color in Heaven fairy story special. And I think what has happened is when I paid for my subscription, like to start, I started at an end of the month. Like I paid like on the 20th or something. So I think that's what's happening. I'm getting my books at the end of the month because that's when I started my subscriptions. So my advice to someone that's getting a subscription is uh, pay at a start of a month. Then you're most likely going to get your books at a start of a month, like the cycle. Um, obviously, I have to wait longer because I'm in the U.S., but I, I've just noticed a pattern forming. So this is um, illustrations by uh, Fabiana Atanasio, and this is perfect for my year-long hashtag. Um, I'm doing with Ashley's coloring journey. We're doing a fab year 2021 and I'm excited. I have all of her books, but since they're not, they're double-sided, I can't use my alcohol markers. So I'm excited to use this and use my alcohol markers in it. And it's got just her beautiful illustrations. Now my Pinocchio book does not have this picture in it. I think mine was a misprint, so I'm glad to have that picture. I like this one a lot too. So I'm I'm eager to color in this. Maybe I'll have to do this one of these pages in a color and chat. So this is Fairy Stories Special by Fabiana Atanasio. Distributed by the Color in Heaven. Um, next book that I have to show you guys is this one. Uh, Amazon finally got it to me. It was lost and then it came, finally came. This is Super Cute Food by May Yu. I love May Yu's books. I actually added more to my wish list. I think I have four on her my wish list right now. She puts them out so quickly. I can't even keep up. Um... This one has food in it, just like kawaii food style, chibi food style. It just reminds me of kawaii food, totally. And there's duplicates in this book as well. And these are really fun to color. So this is Super Cute Food by Mei Yu. Um, I got... I decided I would get the stone mosaics. Um, I got all three. When the third one was released, I decided I would just pick up all three of them. And I'm sure you guys have seen these before. These are by the Belba family and they look like little stones and you, it's a color by number. And I thought, okay, if I'm going to get book three, I might as well just get all of them because I think this would be a very stress-free, literally stress-free coloring book just that I can pull uh, permanent markers like Sharpies and Bix and just color. So yes, this is Stone Mosaic Stress-Free Color by Number Book 1, 2, and 3. And if you just want to see a flip, that's just what they look like inside. You can't, that's a turtle I can tell, but... It's pretty, pretty standard. All of them are going to be similar. So I haven't colored in any of them yet. So I got one, two, and three of those. I did get the new um, Color by Colors Tetris from uh, Kira Shershneva. Um, I, I thought this would be a really fun one to try to color with water-based markers because they're small areas and it looks really busy right now, but I think, I think I might really enjoy it actually. I like Tetris and 
I think this might be fun. Might actually be fun to use my mild liners, uh, zebra mild liners on this because um, by having that small chisel tip, you can make perfect squares. So yes, I got Color by Colors Tetris. Another book that has just been released that I needed to get when I heard it was released is this one, which is uh, The Darling Collection Portraits by Kelly Horton. I decided to pay a little bit of the extra to get the hardcover in hopes that the quality would be a tad bit better than the paperback. Um, I will tell you... The paper is, compared to the other Kelly Horton books I have, it's a little bit thicker, but not super thick, because you can still see through it. I mean, you can still see the image on the back, but I, I do like being able to have it in a hardback book. It just makes, I don't know, it just makes it feel fancy. And these are really, really cute girls. I like them. And I really like to color people. And I love coloring portrait style. Because there's not so much to deal with in the background. So this will be a lot of fun to color in. So this is um, the Darling Collection Portraits by Kelly Horton. And I am so happy that she decided to make these hardback. Um, I did get this one. I should have showed this one with the Tetris, but it was just out of order. I did get Women's World, Color by Colors. So after I had gotten that Happy Mail I and s colored it and realized that I kind of liked it, I got this and the Tetris one. So um, this one has women in it, and I saw, I want to say it's Tiffany Colors. I saw some images that she colored. And they were absolutely beautiful, and it kind of drew me in a little bit. So you just color them just like the other. And like I said, I'm going to use the lighter shade to make it look like it's outlined. So I think these will come together really cute. I love that one, the Holland Girl. Yes, love, love, love. So this is Woman's World Color by Colors by Kira Shershneva. Um, the next books, um, yes, they're all from Amazon Japan. I um, got this one. I have one of the other ones. This is, I don't know which volume this is, but this is Colors Make You Happy by Miki Taki. And this one is really, really cute. It has like little cutesy things. If you don't like cutesy, you won't like this. There's a Halloween one. And the music page. Double-sided, really nice paper. The one that I had gotten before was more fairy tale like This one's more, there's a Cinderella page. This one's more like cutesy ballerina one. Kitties, bunnies, it's a cute little deer, and then a tutorial thing in the front. Um, I really like these books. Um, I think there's three in the collection, and I think the other one that I don't have has like color already put into the pages, and that's why I didn't get it, but I'm not sure. I know this um, artist also does postcard books. I think there's one called Sweet Dishes and things like that. Um, I haven't invested in those because I just haven't yet. Um, I just decided I would do this one. I just thought it was really cute and sweet. The next one I got um, was one of the books that was suggested to me. It's uh, It says Around the World Trip. Uh, fun, funnel Yaman, Yanagua, Yanagua. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sure I said that wrong. But this book has um images from different places around the country. 
So let me see if I can. They have an index. So right here, it's got England, France, Sweden, Denmark, Italy, Turkey, India, Thailand, China, Japan, Pacific Ocean, Canada, and United States of America. And it looks like the ones that have the most are like images are France, Pacific Ocean. England has quite a few, but um, there are images like this. This paper is a little bit different. The texture of it feels different to me, but it may take pencils really well. I love that. Reminds me of Mary Poppins with the umbrellas. It's probably an England one. And that one's definitely Italy because look at the gondola. So this book was basically um, recommended, uh, like, you know how Amazon gives you recommendations of, hey, you might like this book? Um, when it saw I liked Colors Make You Happy, they suggested this one. And so I thought I would try it. There is more books in this series. This is just the one that I chose. Next one I got was this one. It's called Smile. It's, um don't know who it's by but it is hello kitty and like hello kitty friends and i do like hello kitty she's really cute and um this is like an off-white paper it starts off with like a like a tissue paper which is interesting i've never seen this kind of thing before but the images are all these cute hello kitty um, characters. Look at that, how cute. Um, some are very wallpapery like that, but they're not yeah, excessively wallpaperly. Like, they're not like full of flowers <laughs> or leaves. Like, this is wallpaper, but I don't mind it so much. And when you take, when you have wallpaper images like that, you don't have to color every single thing. You could just color the bunnies. So yeah, I I just thought this was really cute and I, I had been eyeing it for a while, so I picked it up. Next book I have is a Disney book. Don't ask me the title. It's Disney something or other by Inako Kotorum. Kotor Rayama. Yeah. Sorry about that. So this is like a Disney lesson. Like if they say, if you're searching it, you search Disney lesson book. And it comes up because it has lesson pages and coloring pages. So it starts off with um, these type of pages. Kind of telling you how you can color things. Like tutorial type stuff. And then the, in the back is the actual coloring images. And they're Disney, obviously. I love this one. I love Aurora. She's my favorite Disney princess. That one's cute. And look at this one with the Pooh Bear. He's my favorite Disney character. So those two alone. Oh my goodness, look at those. This is like a grayscale. I love it. And that one with Mickey and the parachutes. That's really cute too. I just like these images. They're adorable. That's like a Christmas one. So this one is some Disney lesson book. I don't know what. I can't, I can't tell you what this says because I don't know. But if you look up Disney lesson book, it's the one with all the Mickey Mouse Gang on the front and Chippendale, or Chippendale. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, my video cut off because my battery died on my phone. But I was just saying that that book had the Chippendale characters on it. So if you're looking that up on Amazon Japan, you could recognize that cover. Um, I'm going to show you the last little bit. In the meantime, like while I was letting my phone charge a little bit, I actually called Amazon about those markers. La, 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 Honey, la, la, you're wobbling la, la, the camera. 
and they could tell I was a little frustrated and I said she goes so you got dried markers I said well yeah they're dried out markers but they're not even a hoo hoo paint markers they're Bic markers not even the right brand and she goes oh and she was just surprised so I um she said she would just send me a full refund and I can reorder them again. I'm nervous to try to reorder them again because is this going to happen again? Or maybe maybe I'll just try again and hopefully it works out. Because normally when I order oh hoo hoo, I get oh hoo hoo. So <laughs> we'll see. But let me show you the last couple books and then we'll be good. I just wanted to update you on that. So. The next book from Amazon Japan is this one. I think it says, I think this is a travel one, like a Disney travel book. Um, it's a lesson book as well, just like the one that you saw before. And here is the back side. Oh, it says love, love Disney coloring lesson book on the back. Okay. So I'm just going to flip kind of through the back pages. So you can see this paper has a little bit of a texture to it. This is the love one, I guess. I was thinking it was the travel one, but maybe the travel one was a different one. So this part, this thick part is all tutorial pages and so it's like half of it is tutorial and half of it is coloring images yeah so that is this one I also got this book now I ha I saw this one on someone else's channel but I I didn't, I don't remember it formatted the way that this one was formatted, but maybe it's right, but I'll show you anyway. Um, this is Color Me Too um, by Yus Yusuke Nakaramura, or Nakaramura, sorry, but all of the images are like this. And I could have sworn I saw somebody flip through it like this and it was normal, but that's okay. Um, maybe I'll take it to my copy store and get it bound at the top and just treat it like portfolio style. It's very anime like. just thought this was a visually very interesting looking book. And lots of fashion. So that is Color Me um, Book Volume 2. And then the last book that I got is this one. And I think this is Color My Town. Or Color My Dream Town or something like that. Because I have the um, Color, Color My Dream Room. And this is the sequel to it. And if you like uh, Eerie's books, you would like these books. Yeah, she just goes through the town and has different, like, there's, like, different, different stores. And visually very simple, but there's enough going on in a page. You could really go to town on these pages. There's a little bit of texture on this paper as well. And it does have the um, the actual cover on it. The flaps and everything. So, yes, that is my haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Sorry, there was a lot of in and out, and I had um, my coloring assistant play on camera for you for a little bit, but that is life. 
um, yes, uh, like I said, those last ones were all on Amazon Japan and, um, lots of fun, interesting things that they have there. And their paper is usually pretty good if you ever order from Amazon Japan. But yes, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this haul and I will see you guys next video. Bye guys.